What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a metal sheet cladding for your facades in Revit. How to make this in 3D, so uh, usually you would do this just using detail elements or something like that and then you would use some sort of a texture for the facade, for the renderings, uh, but in this video I'm going to be showing you how to model that actually in 3D. I think it's really interesting and useful. Now I, I found a solution on the uh, great uh, Revit IQ forum or blog, uh, which I find uh, really interesting and I've kind of modified the solution and added some things uh, how to cut out the doors and windows and so on. So that's what we're going to be uh, tackling in today's uh, tutorial. Now before I get into that I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and also make sure to subscribe. I make useful Revit tutorials each week, I make multiple tutorials and also I have uh, a bunch of uh, beginner, intermediate and advanced level courses on my website balkanarchitect.com that's going to be the first link in the description so make sure to check it out. And and also the second link in the description takes you to my Patreon page, there you can check out all of my Revit project files, uh, like this file that we're going to be creating now, as well as all of my other files, I have over like 500 files or something like that. So if you're interested, check it out. Okay, without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. Okay, so here we are in Revit and this one we're going to be starting off with a family. So first let's go here to families, uh, then go here to new and for the family template what you want to choose is going to be the metric curtain panel, uh, but you want to have the curtain wall panel, not the curtain panel pattern based. So just make sure to select this one and of course if you're using the imperial system feel free to go with that. So I'm just going to select this, hit open, and that's all going to open up the uh, whole template and this is what we have. Uh, now what you're going to do in this case is uh, pretty much ignore the uh, these reference planes and uh, the construction that we already have in place. Uh, this is going to be a panel that which we're going to be using in order to create that uh, in order to create that uh, sheet uh, metal sheet cladding but uh, it's not really going to be a perfect uh, curtain panel family. It's just going to be something that uh, does the job. So uh, let's go then here into the create tab and then go with a solid extrusion. Choose that tool, zoom in a little bit and then what you want to do is basically create two vertical lines. That's what I like to start with. So two, two vertical lines, you want to select one and then move the uh, little witness line here to the center and then this is going to be 75 millimeters. Let's get rid of this ugly dimension. Uh, making it a total between these two, 150. So I wanted to have just uh, a 150 millimeter long uh, segment. Okay, so next I'm going to go here to the line tool, uh, go perhaps just like this, go up a little bit maybe at 60 degrees, just like that, and then go to the other side. And uh, also actually we want to go down as well, and that is also going to be a 60 degree angle. There we go. This is exactly what I want. And then we can just close this off, maybe make it like that. Actually we can select this and then use the move tool in order to move it to this position here. Perfect. So now we have our uh, uh, one segment of our uh, element. Now uh, the next thing that I want to do is to kind of offset all of this. So for that I'm going to be using the uh, pick lines tool with the offset of 0.3 or actually this is in millimeters so that's 3. And then what you want to do is offset this on all sides just like that. And once I've done this, uh, I actually have to select both of these and then go to the move tool and just move these towards inside like that. Maybe move this up and of course let's cap this off here just like that. Uh, now once we have that uh, it makes sense to play around here with this. I actually want this line here to have the same length as this line here. Now I don't want to make it perfect, this is just a demonstration, uh, but ideally uh, you would perhaps want to have those equal, uh, but that uh, that is really something that you have to kind of consult the, uh, the metal sheet cladding that you're trying to replicate and uh, maybe take a look at those drawings or something like that, take a look at some details and then you can uh, have the idea of how that works. So uh, next I'm just going to be using simple lines here. Now I want to replicate this angle here, so this 
rectangle here. I want this to kind of align perfectly with that. So you want to go from here up at a angle which is 120 degrees and you can see on this side this will light up in blue which means that it's parallel and that's exactly what you want and then you would just want to use trim and extend like this just make sure to kind of select it here below the line and just like that okay now we can just get rid of all of this you can of course play around a little bit if you want with these dimensions i'm actually happy with the way this turned out and then you just want to hit finish uh, you can assign the material here if you want i'm not going to do that uh, right now I, I i don't think it's necessary for this demonstration but it is possible right there uh, next let's go to the uh, elevation any elevation will do the job and make sure to extend this all the way up. So you want to make sure to lock it up and down, uh, but side to side, it's not really that important for uh, this particular approach. Uh, okay, so once we have this created, uh, the next step is of course to save it and then load it into the project. So I'm just going to go here to the save tool and let's save it on desktop. Let's just call it the one profile or let's just call it the profile. or metal cladding. Hopefully I spelled that out right. Okay, so let's just save that family and then let's open up a new project in which we're going to be uh, testing this out. Uh, so I'm just going to switch to the home page, go here to models, go to new, and for the template, I'm going to be using the Balkan Arctic template, the metric version. If you're interested either in the metric or the imperial version, plus the family packs that, that comes with that, uh, you can check out the link in the description. Uh, just open up the description and it should be there. Uh, okay, so so uh, I'm just going to click OK. That's going to open up the uh, new project. There we go. Okay, now we want to go back here to the profile and then just load it into the project. Perfect. So once this is loaded into the project, we have to assemble a curtain uh, panel wall, uh, which is going to be using this family. So you want to go here to walls, uh, open up the drop menu, uh, go for the perhaps exterior glazing is the, the best one to start off with. And the reason for that is when I go here into edit type, uh, you're going to notice that it already doesn't have any mullions. And that's exactly what we want for this. Uh, this profile is not loaded as a mullion. It's actually loaded in as a curtain panel. So we want to have these fields empty. So so that's why it's best to start with exterior glazing. Uh, it does give you the vertical and horizontal uh, grid layout, uh, but it doesn't include the mullions. If you go with the curtain wall, you don't get the vertical and horizontal grid, which you need. Uh, and if you go with the storefront, you get the mullions, which you don't want. So that's why this option is the, uh, is the best one to go for. Uh, now, uh, really important, the spacing. Uh, so what you want to do is for the vertical grid spacing, you want to set it up at uh, 150 millimeters, which is 15 centimeters. And this is in meters, so that's 0 0.15 uh, meters. Okay, so once we have that, uh, the curtain panel is the next option. And here it's currently set at none. So you want to set it up at the, let's see, where's our family? So there are many different options. Okay, here we go. The metal sheet cladding profile, uh, metal cladding, okay. You get the point. So once this is loaded in, we can just hit apply uh, and then OK. And just keep in mind that the horizontal grid isn't really that important for uh, this particular wall. So we can just click OK and place our wall there. And then when we zoom in, as you can see, it looks perfect. Uh, here we have that joint that we have been working on and it looks exactly how we want it to look. And we can, of course, go to the 3D view. This is what that looks like. So as you can see, it looks really, really good when you zoom in. And of course, uh, you can combine this uh, uh, with, an, uh, with another wall. So for example, I can go here with a regular wall. Uh, let's use the 300 millimeter type and uh, let's switch the location line to the uh, finish face exterior. And then we can go from here, uh, use the space key to flip it around. And then you can just place that like this. So you are, you are going to have some issues here on the edges of this thing. So there and 
Here I guess it works, but there we do seem to have uh, a bit of a problem. Uh, so you are going to be experiencing some issues like that. So on this side it's just a regular white wall, and then on this side it's that uh, sheet metal. Uh, also keep in mind that uh, placing windows for something like this is going to be uh, quite uh, difficult. Uh, the main reason is uh, because this uh, isn't a really a parametric panel, it is going to give you issues uh, if you decide to make an opening. So it's not going to allow you to host a uh, door. Well, uh, the, the, the wall is going to allow you to host the door, but as you can see the, uh, the curtain wall in front of that, the uh, sheet uh, metal uh, cladding isn't going to uh, create that opening. So what you uh, can attempt to do is to follow the grid lines and uh, use that in order to kind of make the opening for the, the door but it might give you issues so for example if i go here into edit profile and use pick lines and if i try to use these lines let's see maybe it will work but it usually gives you a bunch of errors so that is uh, quite a large downside of this approach uh, let's just use trim and extend here to close this off so as you can see i've picked those uh, those grid lines and then let's use the split element tool to split this in half SL is the shortcut for that and then trim and extend to corner to fix this up finish as you can see it works in this case uh, but if you didn't use those uh, grid lines in order to so these as you can see these are the grid lines they kind of highlight in blue when you hover over them if you don't use them to make an opening so for example if I were to place a window there and let's say I want to uh, make an opening for that window, I would again select this wall, uh, go into Edit Profile, and uh, if I just used the, you know, the, the wall uh, or the window for that, so for example, let's go to the other side and just use uh, the window dimensions and not the curtain grids to make my selections, such as this, hit Finish. As you can see, it gives you a bunch of these errors and it's just going to replace those panels with glass, which is not what you want. So in order to never have those issues, what you can do, you can use the uh, the window to pick lines just to create the opening, uh, but then make sure to go here to the Align tool and make sure to align the, that opening to the nearest uh, vertical grid. So here it would have to be either here or there. And then you can play around perhaps with the window positioning. So here, uh, replace panels. Okay, so here I guess the panel was too short. Uh, so as you can see, it is uh, a bit of trouble working and making openings. It is going to uh, work in some cases where you kind of outlining clearly. Here, uh, I guess it's giving out some issues. So uh, let's see if we change the the horizontal grid to something like I don't know two meters. Okay, that works, but still one panel here doesn't, so uh, we can try to align that there. Okay, now it works. Uh, but again, as you can see, the, the window then has to be, oops, uh, the window then has to be kind of centered on that opening. So it is uh, kind of a bit of trouble to uh, make openings, but it is possible, uh, as you can see from this. So it is a viable uh, solution in the end. So there you go, that's how you can create this type of a uh, wall that's going to look really good in renderings and also when you uh, just go into level 1 you are going to see uh, that profile and you don't have to place it in as a detail element or something like that. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you have learned uh, something new and exciting. Uh, and uh, make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials. Uh, also, make sure to subscribe. I make useful tutorials each week, multiple tutorials. And also check out those links in the description for courses, project files, as well as this lovely template. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.